Hello everyone, Tara Melton here from Magnet Forensics and today I'm going to show you some enhancements we've made to our media categorization features in Axiom 3.0 by improving how we utilize hash sets from Project Vic and Cade. We streamlined the process of importing and exporting these hash sets and made manual review easier so that you can get to the important data in your case more efficiently. So I'm going to quickly show you the workflow for importing and working with these hash sets in both Axiom Process and Examine. Here you can see I already have my case details filled out in Axiom Process. My evidence item is already loaded in. So I'm going to jump down in my processing details to where it says Categorize Pictures and Videos. Scrolling down a bit here on the right hand side to where it says Categorize Pictures and Videos by Hash Value. This is where we'll be able to load in our hash sets from Project Vic and Cade. We do support imports from both JSON and text file types, and now in 3.0 you can load either file type into this one table here, whereas in previous versions they were split into separate tables. Just trying to make that simpler and easier for you. So to load in your project fic hash set, we'll click on add hash list, and then select hash list will allow us to navigate to where our hash set is stored on our workstation. And here we'll add this data to a hash set within Axiom. I'll just call it project vic hit add. Then at the bottom we can see the different categories available for import. I'm just going to choose select all at the top to import all categories. Click update hash set and then close. Now we can see the hash set was successfully loaded in. We can use this drop down here to see the number of records associated with each category that we have loaded in. So that's all there is to it. I'm going to go down to analyze my evidence and let that run and we'll check back in Axiom Examine when processing is complete to show you some new media categorization features in a process case. All right, so now we have our case processed and loaded into Axiom Examine. You can see here on the right hand side, if I scroll down a little bit, we have the media categorization section. Here we can see a count of the number of files in my case that match each category of the Project Vic hash set that I had loaded in earlier. I'm going to click on the view all media category matches which will automatically take us to the artifacts view of our case and automatically apply a filter to only display items that match this hash set. You can see the borders around the items of interest correspond to the categories listed on the right to help you easily identify them. When I click on an item and view the information in the details section, we can see the extra information that we're able to pull out of the Project Vic hash set such as offender or victim data. Now I'm going to remove the filter to display all artifacts in my case. If there's files that we want to manually tag, we can do that one at a time by highlighting the file and clicking on the category we want to assign to it. Notice how the borders change based on the category that I selected. We've also added a feature in Axiom 3.0 to do bulk assignments of categories using this function that you see here at the bottom. If we use the plus sign on our keyboard, it will assign all items in my current display with the category I have selected in my drop-down menu here. In this case, it'll be category 0, non-pertinent. This, however, will not change the items that are already assigned in to a specific category, only those that are unassigned in your view. So here, if you can see, I'm going to hit the plus sign on my keyboard. It automatically scrolls down one page, but if I scroll back up, you can see the items that did not have a category assignment are now associated with category 0, and the other items that did have one did not change. While in thumbnail view here, we can double click on an item to get a larger view of it if needed. We can zo zoom in and out, even rotate the photo in this view as well. The same applies to videos in our case. We can double click on a video and play it in this larger view within the Axiom interface as well. The media attributes filter up here at the top is also new in 3.0. It allows you to filter on specific attributes imported from the Project Vic hash sets, such as if it contains distributed media or if the offender or victim was already identified. And finally, if you add your own tags to your case and want to share them with the forensic community, you're able to export your hash set in Project Vic format. So I'm just going to right click and select export to Vix. And here in the export screen, you're able to add your own contact information. So this gives the community the ability to reach out to you if they match something you've already seen and get context of the information that you've shared. All right, well, those are some of the new features we've added in Axiom 3.0 in regard to media categorization with Project Vic. Thanks for watching, everybody.